Hey y'all, so I'm here at the shop and I was kind of just like, this past uh, couple weeks have been like really tough. But in all honesty, to be real, ever since um, my son passed away um, in May from stillbirth, I have had constant highs and very low lows. So it's weird for me to say like these past couple weeks because it feels like every month there's a couple weeks where i'm really really low and then you know i'll feel better for like maybe a couple days or maybe a week if i'm blessed and then it'll go right back down right so with all that being said like whatever so um when but this past week in particular i've been really like i'm um, kind of like mourning who i used to be um before this all took place not saying that i didn't ever doubt god or not saying that i didn't ever have lack of trust or even be angry at god before but I have to be honest in saying that it's, you know, it's, um, I've been struggling um, this past week, like I said, with just missing who I used to be, right? And so I was thinking like, dang Lord, like will I ever be that person? And it's kind of like I had like a visual, like a vision of, from the Lord. And um, it basically was like the vision of like a tree. And then it was like a huge hurricane and the tree severed, right? And then it's kind of like I saw one leaf cascade down and but on the leaf it looked as if there were like seeds on it and I saw you know kind of like the sped up version from that one leaf a new tree coming out and I feel like from that vision God is just basically telling me that like yeah what took place really really hurt and at times it feels like it broke me like broke me you know, and I'll be mean, right times. I don't feel like I'll ever be the same person ever. And I try so hard to be strong, but being strong is tiresome. But I feel like what the Lord was telling me was that, yeah, that situation took place. And yeah, it broke me, but the breaking wasn't necessary for me to be a new me. It was necessary, you know, not saying that my son's death, that. You know, because what the enemy meant for evil, the Lord always has a plan behind it. And I'm a firm believer in that. I don't know what your views are or whatever, but I'm a firm believer in that. But it could have broke me where I wouldn't have ever gotten back up. But I know that the Lord has something new just by that one leaf. That one leaf that grew a whole new tree. Really just, I just want to say, like I said, don't give up. You know, and I know that, like, I'm coming to you guys still going through the process. And it's very much so real. Very much so feels like it happened yesterday. I can't believe I'm crying, bro. But it feels like it happened yesterday. And so I think, like, my biggest takeaway is just I'm going to trust in God throughout this process. No matter if I feel really, really good one day and just really, really bad the next day, I'm trusting it. God, it hasn't even been a year. Some women I've talked to, they're still mourning. And they've got grandchildren or great-grandchildren. And they're still mourning that one child that passed away a stillborn or miscarriage or even an abortion they're still mourning it so i have to give myself grace but i just love that visualization that god gave me of the one leaf that created a whole new tree so i'll be a brand new marissa i'm not gonna be who i was and yes i could mourn who i used to be and my outlook on life and my you know zeal for life at that time but you know, I know that there's going to be a new me, a new me that would be able to help other women or other families who are going through it. And even with my new job that I got, like I haven't announced it on social media, but I, the God's blessed me with a new job to specifically work with families, with newborn babies and women who are pregnant. And I'll be able to pour into them. So I know that God has a new thing for me and I'm going to be a new Marissa who's going to be able to pour on people from a place of who I am now than from the place of who I used to be. So that's my that's my thing. I'm always preaching, don't give up, hold on. But I mean that. I don't say it, you know, just to say it. I say it because I'm living through it. And I'm actually a testament of, of the strength of God, you know? So, you know, be blessed. Be blessed. Love y'all.